Hello, welcome to Arun Singh Academy. We are discussing polynomials and this is lecture number 6. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 5 before watching this part 6. So, in this lecture we are going to discuss some problems and uh, problems what we left from the previous lecture that I am going to discuss uh, now. So, question number 3 I have to discuss uh, because before the break I have left it uh, here only. So, we need to discuss it. Question number 3. Question is obtain all zeros of uh, 3x4 plus 6x cube minus 2x square minus 10x minus 5 minus 10x minus 5 if 2 of its zeros are 2 of its zeros are under root 5 by 3 and minus under root 5 by 3. This and this 2 of it 0 are under root 5 by 3 and under root minus 5. Now remember factor theorem since solution I can write here. Since x is equal to under root 5 by 3 is a 0 of polynomial polynomial and therefore x minus root 5 by 3 is a factor of polynomial px factor of polynomial isn't it similarly we can write since similarly similarly x is equal to minus 5 by 3 each a zero of polynomial zero of polynomial therefore x plus under root 5 by 3 is a factor of polynomial factor of polynomial isn't it so it means there are two factors one x it means x minus root 5 by 3 and x plus under root 5 by 3 are factor of polynomial polynomial right that is x minus root 5 by 3 and x plus root 5 by 3 are factors factors of polynomial polynomial px say that one is px so it means x square minus 5 by 3 is a factor of polynomial polynomial what Polynomial watch 3x4 plus 6x cube 3x4 plus 6x cube minus 2x square minus 10x minus 2x square minus 10x minus, isn't it? And therefore it will divide it completely. x square minus 5 by 3 will divide. 3x4 plus 6x cube minus 2x square 10x minus 5 completely. Completely. Isn't it? Now we can divide them. So proceed for division. Now 3x4 plus 6x cube minus 2x square minus 10x minus 5 divide by x square minus 5 by 3 isn't it so multiply by 3 so that uh, 3x square so that it will be 3x4 and minus 5x square 3x square multiply by x square is 3x4 and 3x square multiply by 5 3 by 3 so it will be minus it will be 
minus 5x squared, 5x squared. So if I change the sign, this is minus, this is plus, so these two are cancelled out. And it will be 6x cubed plus 3x squared minus 10x minus 5. So again, if I divide by, multiply by 6x plus 6x, then it will be 6x cubed. And 6x multiply by minus 5 by 2 is minus 10x. So the sign will change minus plus these two cancels, these two cancels. Now what is left? That is x cube minus 5 by 3. x square minus 3x square minus 5. Now if you multiply by plus 3, then what will happen? This will be 3x square minus 5. And after changing the sign, both will cancel and it will be 0. So now this polynomial, since remainder is 0, so we can write it 3x4, 3x4 minus plus 6x cube minus 2x square minus 10x minus 5. Px is equal to gx multiplied by qx, that is x square minus 5 by 3 into 3x square plus 6x plus 3. Isn't it? We can write it. So this polynomial has factor like x square minus 5 by 3 and if I took 3 common that can be written here. So it will be x square plus 2x plus 1 and this is nothing else but x plus 1 whole square. So clearly 3x4 the polynomial 3x4 plus 6x cube minus 2x square minus 10x minus 5 can be written as 3 times of x square minus 5 by 3 into x plus 1 whole square because this is x square plus 2x plus so x plus 1 whole square can be written like this also. So to find 0, px must be equal to 0. So to find 0, 0 is px is equal to 0, this employee this equal to 0 and that is the factor of this. So 3x square minus 5 by 3 and x plus 1 and x plus 1 is equal to 0. So that is x square is equal to 5 by 3 which gives x is equal to plus minus root 5 by 3. This is already given and x is equal to minus 1 and minus 1, two other zeros. So all four zeros are 3 will divide this side and it will become 0. And therefore all four zeros are zeros of polynomial. Polynomial are plus root 5 by 3, minus root 5 by 3, minus 1 and minus 1. These are the four zeros. You need to write all those four zeros because it is given in the question that write all four zeros. So you need to write them, not only two. If you write the last two only, then it might be possible that teacher will read that marks. So, like this. Now, the next question is question number four. And what is the question? On dividing polynomial x cube minus 3x square plus x plus 2 by another polynomial polynomial gx then quotient and remainder are are x minus 2 and minus 2x plus 4 respectively. Find gx. This is what here px is given as x cube minus 3x square plus x minus 2. q x quotient function is given that is x minus 2 and remainder function is given that is minus 2x plus 4. And we have to find gx. 
gx that is equal to y0 we have to find out now we know that px is equal to we know from division algorithm px is equal to gx multiply by qx plus rx isn't it gx multiply by qx plus rx so we can put the value respectively so what is that x q minus 3 x square plus x minus 2 and gx we do not know but we know x minus 2 and rx is minus 2 x plus 4 so clearly this minus 2 x plus 4 will come this side and it would be x q minus 3 x square plus x minus 2 plus 2 x minus 4 is gx into x minus 2 that it so we can write here this will be x q nothing else we can write uh, this one this side there is no problem we can interchange them gx into x minus 2 x minus 2 will divide this side but later on we will write it x q plus x q minus 3x square 2x plus x is 3x minus 4 minus 2 is minus 6. Now gx is nothing else but x q minus 3x square plus 3x minus 6 whole divided by x minus 2. So we need to divide them. If you divide them then what will come? So that will be, let us divide this question and we will get uh, x q minus 3 x square plus 3 x minus 6 x q minus 3 x square plus 3 x minus 6 divided by x minus 2 right this is what the function x q minus 3 x square plus 3 x minus 6 so we can divide it by x square times that is x q minus 2 x square so it will be minus plus cancel and that will be minus x square plus 3x minus 6 again we multiply by minus x then it will be minus x square and minus minus plus 2x so that will be plus minus this will be cancels 3x minus 2x is x minus 6 so we can multiply by 1 and what is finally come x minus 2 so it will be minus and plus so this cancels and minus 6 plus 4 is what minus 6 it should divide complete so it is not going to divide it means there is plus 2 plus 2 by the question so I need to write here plus 2 and let me correct this plus 2 and it will be plus 2 and that will be plus 2 and plus 2 minus 4 is minus 2 so it will be like this one is minus 2 not plus 2 because plus 2 minus 4 is minus 2 and this will be also minus 2 so that will be minus 2 now since it is minus 2 so we will write here minus 2 as well and since this one is minus 2 so again this will be minus 2 and minus 2 so it will be plus 2 cancel so the thing is it will be 0 and therefore x square minus x plus 1 so from first what is the value of gx so from first gx is equal to x square and what is that minus x plus 1 minus x plus 1 and this is the answer of this question I hope you got it now one more question let us discuss one more question and this question is now we have another questions give a
give example of polynomial px, qx, gx, qx and rx which satisfy the following division algorithm and first one is degree of px is degree of qx. Degree of px is degree of qx means quotient and remainder has the same degree. So to solve this question uh, we can write here say px is equal to px is quotient function and uh, degree of qx so we can take any example say px is equal to for solution one let um, px is equal to 6xq 6x square plus 9x plus 8 and qx is like say um, 2x square plus 3x plus and say this is 3 isn't it 3 so I can write this is 1 so here px is and qx degree of px is what 2 and degree of qx is also 2 so here degree of degree of px is equal to degree of qx isn't it qx we can take it anyone any kind of example there are infinite number of example can be there and so by using division algorithm now so px is equal to gx multiply by qx plus rx this is the function and now we can use it therefore to find gx we can write gx therefore gx into qx is equal to px minus rx and gx is equal to px minus rx divided by qx get it since degree of both of them are same so we can write here that is px divided by qx and plus minus rx divided by qx minus rx divided by qx isn't it so qx px divided by qx that we have to proceed so from first px we need to divide by qx you see here quickly you can observe without division text plus if you multiply by 3 this will come so px divided by qx what is that 3 so 3 will come right now so in that case 3 will come gx will come 3 and if remainder is because it is completely divided so remainder is 0 minus 0 upon qx and what is that 3 so remainder is gx is 3 and px is equal to qx so degree of the both are same you can get it and uh, because it's completely divided and therefore remainder is zero now the next one is so any of uh, type of such questions can be taken uh, in which degree of both of them are same now in second part it is given that degree of qx is equal to degree of rx degree of rx rx qx quotient and remainder has the same degree so suppose qx is x plus 1 qx is x plus 1 and rx is 2x minus 3 say like this and rx is 2x minus 4 say so using this we can have uh, this is the degree of a degree of qx is 1 and degree of rx is also 1 rx is 1 isn't it now using division algorithm we have px must be equal to qx into gx plus rx isn't it plus rx now since remainder is there since remainder is there this is one now since remainder is of linear so a divisor must be since remainder is degree of 
degree of gx must be greater than degree of rx and therefore we can take gx as quadratic equation say x square plus 2 like this now if you put all these in first we will get here px is equal to px is equal to even linear can be uh, also quadratic or cubic can be taken qx is what qx is what i have taken qx qx is x plus 1 x plus 1 and gx is i have taken x square plus 2 and degree of rx is 2x minus 4 so this is rx now polynomial will be uh, we can take x cube plus 2x plus x square plus 2 plus 2x minus 4 and that will come in finally x cube plus x square plus 4x minus 2 and that will be px so you can take any example there will be infinite number of example as i said and there is no specific example uh, which can be taken so third part is given here that rx is equal to 0 means uh, remainder is 0 so we can take any example uh, say px is if i would take gx is say gx is x square minus 1 and uh, P A Q X is x plus 1 like this so what is px px must be equal to gx multiplied by qx plus rx right now plus qx multiply by gx gx plus rx in case rx is equal to 0 then px must be equal to px must be equal to what qx multiply by gx so in that case x square minus 1 multiply by x plus 1 that is x cube plus x square minus x minus 1 so in that case if you divide by px into gx so rx definitely will be 0 so using the same using this division algorithm division algorithm rhythm and px divided by gx x cube plus x square minus x minus 1 divided by what any uh, q gx that is x square minus 1 then what will be that if you multiply by x this will be x square minus x so that is plus minus in that case it will be multiply by x then it will be x cube and minus x so sign will change this will be minus and plus sorry this will be x cube minus and plus so this cancel this cancel now x square minus 1 so multiply by plus 1 and that will give x square minus 1 so this will be 0 right now so here rx is equal to 0 that is 0 so that is the conditions you can take any example there is a number of examples which can be taken there is no specific uh, example which is needed to take it right i hope you got it